Would you like a R. G. Smiling at his good fortune just, to be in this I'm game. I'm asking an honest question, sir. I'm, I'm giving you an honest, honest answer. Maybe. Read it right, out. right, right, right. I am so, so very sorry for your loss. <laughs> Here you go. Here's another tilt card. I'll take it all. Does it make you feel better about yourself? No, man, I think you're a dick for doing that. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Alex Duvall here, and in this video, we will be talking about Eric Person, pictured to the left, up against a man named Mr. Dr. Batman. We'll be calling him Batman for short. That is the man here to the right. If you don't know who Eric Person is, he made his famous debut by playing Phil Hellmuth. We'll take a little quick look here. Such a bitch, Phil. You're such a bitch. Show your hand if you're going to say stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, that may be. Of course it did. So he played Phil Hellmuth heads up and flicked him off, talked shit to Phil the entire time. We move on to Hustler Casino Live. He played recently for the first time with Batman in this game right here, but then played with Batman again in a second stream, which happened last night. Just for some context, in the first stream, this man named Batman actually ended up getting the best for the most part against Eric Person. We'll take a look at a couple hands where that happened and then get into the most recent stream. We won't go too in depth in the hands. A lot of these deserve a video of their own and you'll see why. In this first hand, we are five ways as these types of hands usually go. And Mr. Dr. Batman has flopped a set while Eric Person has flopped a straight for the nuts. Eric Person. He bluffs whenever he doesn't have the hand and here he flops the joint. And Mr. Dr. Batman has middle set. Yikes. It's time to raise. Uh, just whatever. Oh no, DJ raises with bottom pair. So this gets really weird. <laughs> There's the three bet on the flop. And I think you're gonna see a shove. Batman just calls a raise from another player. <laughs> and Eric three bets the flop. It wasn't a move. Batman makes a call. And th this is just incredible. That's quads. Check. That's so fucking up. That's a beautiful check. Dude, look at this. Eric already knows That's, he's lost the hand. It's it's insane. It's quads. Check. That's so fucked up. He, he, he snap checks and then mumbles under his breath. That's so fucked up. That's a beautiful check back. This is fucked up fucking hand. This is so fucked up. It's oh such a fucking God, hand. this guy is a hand reader extraordinaire. That's so fucked up. He, he said call, right? So Batman beds 40K, which is like half his stack and person snap folds. So the hand in itself is insane, but this is just an example of tilt number one and kind of the battle that's starting with Batman and person. We go to hand two, Eric has king seven while Batman has two pair. Eric attempts to bluff on the river when a fourth spade comes making any spade a flush. And let's see what happens. No. He's gonna play steel. Oh, oh. Snap call. Woo! <laughs> <Two pair>. Wow. <laughs> okay, so besides being tilted from losing the pot, watch what Batman does. Wow, what a hand. Would you like a REG smiling at his good fortune <laughs> just, to be in this I'm game? I'm asking an honest question, sir. I'm, I'm giving you an honest question. answer. <laughs> right, what's my cup? You don't get shit because you, you were your face. I bailed, didn't I? You did. <laughs> Here comes totally the doom zoom, Eric. Sir. You totally bailed. I'm going to give that. So if you missed it, Batman asks Eric if he wants a card. This is what my title and thumbnail is mentioning. Stay tuned for more information on this in just a little bit. In the final hand from the first time these two played together, we see Batman with trip threes and person with just a four for top pair. Batman check raises to 20,000 with trip threes and person three bets the flop with just a four to $75,000. Eli gets out of there and Batman goes all in and person folds. That's a bummer. So this was the last kind of tilty-esque hand I found of Batman and person playing from stream number one. So we go to stream number two, where this 
insane hand happens. Long story short, there is a big straddle on in this hand and Ben raises with pocket aces, gets a call, and Batman decides to squeeze with 9-8 suited. And he actually three bets it. So Ben ends up thinking it over and four betting to $50,000. Fifty thousand. That's the winner. Batman ends up calling, and we see this flop. So Batman goes all in, and Ben sighs and makes the call. Ben's level of tilt in this hand is just priceless. I, I could watch this guy go on tilt all day. Like I'm sorry, Ben, but it it's really just so so funny. Uh, I typically only go once, but it's up to you. I got a pair. So do I. Well, hopefully mine's better than yours. That's not likely. Well, then I've got outs. <laughs> so it's, I've got, I'm opening it with a You have pair. queens? He's like, you think I have queens? Who the fuck do you think I am? Uh, twice. Twice? twice. Yeah. All right, three times. Okay. I gotta run it twice. Ben is just crawling out of his skin. <sighs> it's 50-50, look at this, the bottom left corner of your screen, you can see it. This is essentially a coin flip. I don't run very good in these situations. I need a seven or a queen. <clears throat> All right, two times. Or a nine or an eight. Wow. That's it. I have two pairs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ben. What can I do? 50K. Seven or a queen, by the way, chops it up. Ben with the Ignite vape. This man is stressed out of his fucking mind. Oh shit. What are we doing? Oh, I'm waiting for upstairs. Oh, you're a <laughs> Five of spades. First run is going to go to Dr. Dr. Batman. He loses the first one. Oh, the steam is coming out of his nose. Only one pair? Ben's going to blow up. There's the queen. Straight, straight. And instantly loses the second one. <sighs> Ace is cracked. He made a straight flush on the second run out. He made a straight flush in the second run. I'll, I'll pay you later. Ben can't believe it. So, what's interesting about this hand is not what just happened, which is entertaining in itself, but what is about to happen. Can, I thought I, I would get, get one scooped. Of those? I was pretty sure I would get yes, scooped. Thank you. Do you know you have a straight flush? Yes. Pain. Forty. Okay. What should I have done differently? Ben's Bill's dying over here. What should I have done differently? Look at Bill Klein. Six, Bill Klein's giggling under. He's Three. just trying to keep huh? it quiet. Yeah. Just, All right, here it comes. I don't know. Um, ben, how are you at needling? Huh? How are you? I, I don't know you, you. It's fine. You can needle. Okay, me. so pick yeah. a card, any card. Pick a card, any card. What is this? A fucking magic show? What do you mean? Pick a card. All right, that's yours. Open it and read it whenever, at your leisure if you want. What does that mean? Is it advice? <laughs> Maybe. I would read it right, 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 right. I am so, so very sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you don't know what happened, this guy, Batman, has a stack of cards right here that he saves just in case he bad beats someone like he just did to Ben who had aces. He gives him a card and it says, I'm so, so, so sorry for your loss. At your leisure if you want. <laughs> Ben's laughing, but he's also like pretty upset. He's also pretty annoyed. So like, this is funny in some sense and it is a bit innocent, but in another sense, it's kind of like, fuck me. Right, 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 right. right. Read it out loud. I'm so, so very sorry for your loss. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I love this guy. We don't deserve Mr. Dr. Batman. See, he's just like, <laughs> like, whatever. You gotta keep it. Eric threw his way yesterday, which really hurt my feelings, I Eric, I gotta say. Good. Well, like bad luck. I mean,. How did that work out for you? I think that's working out very well for me in my life, my decision strategies. I, I agree with you, but not yesterday. He's like, funny, maybe, 
Yeah, pretty funny. A bit of a dick move. Yeah, but at least he did ask if he could needle him, and Ben said yes. So I will give him that. But we had to see this hand to see this next hand. In summary, Batman has pocket queens, somehow gets to the river on ace 10, 8, 10, 7, while Eric has a full house with ace 10 himself, and Eric has bet $130,000. Let's see what Batman does. And no, I don't know. I'm just... It's just... All in. Oh, yeah, wow! Call. Call. All in and a call. Give it. Here you go. Here's another tilt card. I'll take it all. Thank you, sir. So good to play with you. Easy, easy, easy. I'm just needling. Isn't that fun? Isn't that the point to needle? You know what? You're not wrong. I mean, that's what he wants to do, right? He wants to needle. I didn't bring this to the game. He did. But now all his chips are mine. Right at the end of the fucking screen. Welcome to the big leagues, kid. Mr. Batman. Good sportsmanship, bro. Good sportsmanship. Oh, I don't have good sportsmanship. Uh, I'm here for all of you. fucking apparent, actually. You think needling people is good sportsmanship when you fucking get stacked with double aces? You think that's good sportsmanship? That's what you believe? You think that's all in fun? This is real money. You don't say. Yeah. It's real money. It's real money. Like, and you, you think can, it's fun. You turn this into dollars? And you think it's fun. You took the time to figure out how to fuck with people when they lose, right? <laughs> They're coming from you? I'm just saying. Really, you're gonna I'm down with fucking with me. people. I'm not chastising. I'm down with right. it. Huh. I'm down with the I'm business. Buy that game for 200. Boom! Okay, so my He's take on this. Sorry, this is, yeah, this is uh, 70. I don't want to interrupt them. But my take on this. On Does Eric go over the line a little bit? Yeah, yeah but, but as far as I'm concerned, I think he's spot on. Yeah. I mean, Batman literally okay. prepares cards to hand out when he gives bad beats, 16, yeah. right? If you can't take it, don't dish it out, okay? Sorry. What do you guys think? Do you agree with Tuckman? If you can't take it, don't dish it out. To some extent, I'd say Batman was definitely not dishing it out in a way that was so harsh and aggressive as person. This guy Batman did at least ask in the previous hand with Ben if he could handle being needled. And he actually did the same thing with person in the King 7 vs 7 3 hand, as we remember here. Would you like a RG smiling at his good fortune <laughs> just, to be in this I'm game. I'm asking an honest question, sir. I'm, I'm giving you an honest question. answer. <laughs> But then others might say him even asking, would you like a card, is a pretty big needle in itself. Like you think a guy like Eric Person is going to say, yes, I want one of your bad beat cards that can tell me how sorry I am for my loss. Like, right? Like to some extent, Batman knows what he's doing. But on the other side, like I said, maybe Person did go a bit too hard. With that said, he is wearing an anti-hero shirt. I mean, this guy is meant to be the villain. He fucking flicks off Phil Hellmuth. He's very good at table talk. We've seen him even do it with Garrett Adelstein. And to be honest, I've never really seen him trash talk versus someone who didn't deserve it. Phil Hellmuth, he deserved getting the trash talk back and forth. If you thought Person was done with Batman, you'd be wrong. This hand, these guys end up getting to a river. Batman has the ace of spades. He had a flush shot and a gut shot while Person had complete air. So the flush misses, ace Eric's high. Gonna bluff at this if he wants it. He's good. Obviously not gonna be enough. Yeah. But if Eric bets, he should be able to win this hand. He used to have history. 12,600. I love how Eric has a moat of chips. He bets and shows the bluff. So much fun. And trash talk ensues. Eric's not letting up. Does it make you feel better about yourself? No, man, I think you're a dick for doing that. You think I'm a dick? Yeah, I do. I think it's inappropriate. Holy I think shit, that, dude. I'm I think a small that... business owner. You own casinos in multiple no, states. No, 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 no. What you're I'm saying is... not even playing the same game, bro. I never really had much of a problem with what Batman does, but this is where I think he's off. Just because he's a small business owner and maybe doesn't have as much money as person or isn't as big time as person or well known or whatever it may be, doesn't really give him a right to say, 
oh, come on, man, I'm just a, a small business owner, like, oh, what's what's wrong? Like, he kind of plays the victim card here, which I just really don't think is cool. I think you bring these bad beat cards to the game, that in itself is funny or whatever, right? But, like, you're not totally innocent here. You shouldn't really just act like the victim and as if, oh, come on, man, why, why are you being mean to me, like little old me? You're here playing the same stakes that person's playing. You're playing the same amount of money, like... This is a big game, and it is what it is. I just, I, I just really can't get behind this guy kind of complaining like this. I was in multiple no, states. No, 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 no. What You're I'm saying is, playing the same game, bro. What I'm saying is, when you do this to other people, you think it's fun because you're so smart. You stack someone, then you give them a fucking needle card. I think you're being a dick. First off, I think I'm an amateur player I, at can, a room full you, of pros, you think you're and an I ask permission before I do it. So him being an amateur player in a room full of pros, like I said, I just don't think that is relevant. Him asking permission to players before he does it, I think that is very relevant. I think him asking at least shows that he's not necessarily trying to be a dick or asshole. It's just kind of in good fun. All right. Okay. You didn't ask me before you tried to give me one. I did. Remember how they were all on the rail and I explained it to you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry that you have selected memory, my friend. Okay. So, like I said, to be fair, he did ask person as we saw in that clip. I don't like it. That's fine. You don't have to. Ben's over here like, oh, what the fuck? You're right. 2500 I don't have to shut up about it either. I, I'm not going to either. It's going to make for great TV. It took a very awkward turn very quickly. I thought you guys were like, show me. Thought yeah, we I done. thought so thought too we until he blew up. Check. Check. How long you been holding that in, man? Check. Probably stack you. Okay. <laughs> Check around. MJ is dying. Oh, man. That is that. Batman ends up down over a hundred thousand, while Eric Person, who was down like over two hundred fifty grand, ends up up two hundred k after that hand. We later go to Twitter, where we see this. Who you got? Maverick or Batman? And they show a picture of these guys boxing as we showed in the beginning of this video. But more importantly, they show reactions to the situation. So let's see what Batman had to say. Mr. Dr. Batman, one of the stars of the last two days, tell us about that big pot you played with Eric at the end. Eric's tricky, man. Um, he really likes to bluff. Uh, and just the dynamic that we had at the table that night. I really felt like he was just trying to push me around. Uh, made a bad call. No, 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 you didn't make a bad call. You made a bad bluff all in, punt. But, you know, whatever. And uh, ended up paying him off, but it was, a, it was a good hand. How did you think you did the last two days and uh, how I, was your experience? I loved coming out here, man. Uh, it was great. Uh, everyone around here was really nice and helpful. And uh, I love absolutely demolishing pro players uh, on stream. <laughs> well, I'm not sure there was much of that going on. You think he'll be back? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm love to come in, buy big, uh, and uh, have a whole lot of fun. The table talk was, was was pretty epic yesterday. What did you think of Eric's reaction after the big pot, and you guys went back and forth a little bit after uh, you won after he won that we, hand? We talked after the hand, uh, and I, I understand why he thought that my. Uh, Neil cards are just a little bit out of the ordinary. He's used to playing a different type of game. I'm used to playing a different type of game. The poker styles in different parts of the country are a little bit different. Um, but we, we talked through it, and, you know, I, I see where he's coming from. He sees where I'm coming from, and I think we're cool. They're boys. They're all good now. I don't know. What do you guys think? Will we see them playing together again? I hope so. Now let's see what Eric Person has to say in his fucking dripped out supreme outfit eric person the star of the last two days how do you think you did i mean i'm super happy with uh, obviously the way everything went today and you know tomorrow or yesterday was a, a much different game but uh overall i'm, I'm very pleased it's always come fun to come here and uh, mix it up tell us about that 630k pot that you won at the end well, you know, it's one, it's one of those things. I'm up against a pair of queens. I obviously flopped two pair. And when I turn that 10, give me a full house. Uh, and then on the river cards, another heart. It basically makes every single draw in hand. 
it was just all about how am I going to maximize this and figure out how do I induce him to put in all the money. I mean, I think a lot of people, when they really pay attention, when he bets 50 on the turn, I, I reach out and pay the uh, hem and haw, and then I pay 10000 with the $500 chips before I pay the other forty with, with the chocolates. And I think that um, all my actions combined, plus my one you know, my 130 river bet, which when he had 240 just made him feel like, you know, I gave him a reason to think I was bluffing. He obviously reshoves with a hand that really has no value. It's a pair of queens. And uh, he stacks himself, which um, you can see the benefits of that right here. <laughs> this guy's got the fucking almost a million dollars in cash behind him. I mean, it is interesting to think about, right? Eric Person saying he, he, he bet with the smaller chips to make it look like he was giving them away. Then he called with the, the bigger ones or whatever. So there is some method to this man's madness. He's, he's obviously a very good live player, knows how to read players, etc. And this is something we see time and time again. You were down a lot of money at one point, over 200K, yeah. and you kept your composure. How were you able to do that and you know, end up winning for the night? Because I don't think 200K is a lot of money. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> boss. What a boss. After I saw this last night, I went on to make a Twitter thread, which ended up doing pretty damn good. One thing we got from this thread was this guy who posted a clip of person actually before the stream talking about what he was going to do. I only, I try to only play with people I like, you know, and I like DJ, you know, and, and Mr. Batman, like, come on. Like, they, Dr. Batman. Whatever. Like, they, <laughs> Mr. Batman, Dr. Batman, or whatever. I, I agree. What, what the fuck is Mr. Dr. Batman? Just be Batman. One day he's going broke. Like, he's never going to make it. I'm saying on the record, and he can do whatever he wants, and he can try to prove me wrong, and that's what's great about poker. It's egalitarian. doesn't care if you're black, white, woman, man. If you win, you win. He can prove me wrong, but I just don't think he will. And it's fine that he... I don't mind sitting with him. I don't really mind his shenanigans. So, I don't know, guys. Round one of the stream games mostly went to Batman, and as we saw, round two definitely went to Person with that 630k plus pot. Let me know what you guys thought of this situation. I think... It's hilarious. Person's hilarious. Ben on tilt is hilarious. Batman giving out these cards is pretty funny. He's kind of a weird guy, kind of a, a good guy, kind of a bad guy. Like, I don't know what to think of him exactly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. More to come. And this video actually ended up getting over a thousand likes. So soon, I will be visiting the man that gave Robbie a lie detector test. Stay tuned for that. Peace.